Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. My name is Shredder and this is my zoo. Thank you so much for joining me today for Sunday's episode for this week of Shredder Zoo. So, where are we? We are by the back of the mammoth and the woolly rhino enclosures. And I'm thinking that this area here is going to be the spot for our next enclosure, which, as you see from the video title, you already know is for the Allosaur. Yeah, we did the hyenodons yesterday, so I thought we'd do something bigger today. And um, the Allosaurs are pretty big, so we can have a nice big carnivore enclosure over here. I've had a bit of trouble working out exactly what it is I'm going to do, and I still don't really know. I have an idea, don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, I don't know whether this is the best area to do it in either, but we're going to give it a go and we're going to see what we can come up with. Uh, as an interesting note, if we just look over here, there's a unicorn over there. That's a, that's a wild spawn. I've not spawned it in myself. Um, I'm so tempted just to uh, to tame it, but this is a creative series. I spawn everything in. There's really no point in taming anything. If I want a unicorn, I'll just I'll just spawn one in. But um, just in case you want to know where they spawn, um, uh, so people do ask me where where I am. Uh, this is the map where the zoo is, by the way. This is a weather top. Um, the, this kind of island around here. That's where the zoo is, in case you haven't seen it before. And um, yeah, this was, was a wild spawn. It just spawned on that island just over there, and it ended up, I don't know, something may have attacked it. There was a dilo over there or something, and it just swam across this little bit, and it's just been wandering this beach over here. So um, yes, yeah, so I think it's the first uh, wild unicorn I've ever seen, actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's all. So, uh, what are we going to do for this enclosure? I do, I do have an idea, and I've just, I was just thinking actually because it's a bit annoying because you already know what it looks like at least a little bit because you'll have seen the thumbnail for this video. So you actually know more than I do at this point, which is kind of weird in, in some kind of way. But uh, anyway, yeah, I thought we should be building something here because um, we've got this kind of uh, little um, lookout tower. Uh, it's hardly a tower, but this is where we can go in. We've got the map of the the, the arc here, and uh, you can kind of look out over the um, the woolly mammoth and the woolly rhino enclosures. Um, but um, there's no, this isn't really linked up to the zoo very well because there's nothing else over here. It's all empty space. So I kind of thought I want to integrate this little area a little bit better. So we're going to start building over this way. Um, and I say I have an idea, but I think what I might do is if we just go over here a little bit, and um, you won't be able to see this, but I'm bringing up my little menu uh, where I can spawn in the uh, the dinosaurs, and uh, make sure I tick the tame box. We want an allosaur there. We'll get another one over here, and we'll have another one over here. Right, three allosaurs. Uh, so that's what we're going to have in this enclosure. Here we go. Look at them. They look pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so I need these so I know for the size reference so how tall to build the walls of the this enclosure and sort of how big to kind of give them a reasonable sized uh, enclosure. We're going to do... Oh, it's going to be pretty big, I think. Not massive, because I've actually got plans for this area further over there for later on in the series, uh, which I won't go into just yet, but I do have plans. Uh, right, so... We don't want them too close to this enclosure, just in case they uh, want to break out and try and eat the uh, <laughs> the mammoths and things. But uh, our dinos in the zoo are very well trained. They won't do that too much. So we need to start building. It's a little bit uneven around this place, so we need to think about exactly how it is we're going to do this. So I'm going to grab some uh, materials that we need, and then we're going to start placing some stuff and get some building done. Okay, so we have this kind of natural pathway here, sort of leading up from this little tower. So this can be kind of, we can kind of incorporate this and I think we'll start building the entrance here um, right about there. So, there we go. First block placed. Let's see what we can do with this. So um, what I'm thinking is building kind of a walled enclosure. So rather than having just kind of um, uh, the, the metal railings like we have in a lot of the enclosures, this is actually, they're actually going to be walled in and you're going to be able to go inside the walls and actually look at them that way. So we need this to be uh, reasonably large. Um, oh, I can tell you what, let's put this gun away. I don't think we'll need that just at the moment just because it's going to get in the way every time I try and place a block. Uh, right, so we'll have this, um, <clears throat> this two, well, probably maybe three thick. Is that going to be too big? This is going to end up being a huge enclosure if I do like this. Um, 
Well, actually, what I could do, we'll have some... Let's build the entrance, if I can. Uh, we'll do it sort of like this. We can have... We can have a double doorway going into there. That's not... That's probably okay. Um, and then we're going to want... Yeah, God, I really need to think... And if I start placing, it'll, as soon as I get started, it'll be alright. It's just those first initial blocks that I really need to just try and think about exactly what it is I'm trying to achieve here. Give me a moment to think about this. Okay, the idea is beginning to form in my head now. I think I'm getting my head around it. So we have this gateway here. It's a metal gateway with a glass uh, gate inside. Uh, that's going to be the main entrance. This will be mostly kept open uh, so the visitors can just come in and out. Uh, this is going to be kind of um, a room where we can have information science and things, which is something that I haven't been doing in the zoo for quite a while. Um, I really need to get around to, to doing that, put the information science in, but that's something that we can do later on. So what I'm playing on here is um, this will be the room that will be mostly walled in. Maybe have, we'll have a large window here looking out into the um, exhibit this way. And then both off this way, uh, there's going to be a two-wide corridor coming this way and another one uh, going off this way, which is where you're going to be able to walk around the perimeter of uh, the enclosure. And there's also there's going to be other bits and pieces as well. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing. So I think what I'm going to try and do is get the perimeter of the enclosure built out, which is basically just going to be me extending uh, these walkways around and just going around the outside, just depending on how big it is I actually want to do it. So um, I think I'm probably going to do most of that off camera. Um, and then once the perimeter is built, we'll, we'll come in and I'll explain what it is I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I, th I, I might bring it back uh, at stages. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So uh, yeah, I'll build a bit more and then I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is the perimeter that I've made, and I'll show you. I've made a little bit of work on the uh, sort of the entranceway there. So there we go. So that's the kind of size they're going to get. It's probably come out maybe a little bit smaller than I expected, actually, but I think it's a pretty decent size. Now we can probably get rid of those trees in the middle, and we can put in our own decorations, or we could just leave the natural trees there. Um, they don't look too bad at all. We can we'll just add in a few extra decorations as well. But what I'm thinking about now is um, the how I want the the outside to be. What I'm thinking is adding in uh, stone walls all around the outside and then having these glass walls going all the way along the inside. I'm actually thinking uh, but I'm thinking do I want to have the, the the top layer to be an equal size all around or do I just follow the contours that the the bottom does? Um, let me think. I think it gets a little bit higher up towards the back there. So I may, I guess what I could do is just go along at the moment uh, with all the stone walls on the outside. It's exactly how I want it. Um, so, you know, from the outside you can't see in, so you don't know exactly what's in there. And then I guess I could just flatten it all out afterwards. So I think I'll probably do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, walls along the outside, uh, like like this. And um, the, on the inside, we'll have the glass walls. So as you're walking around, you can just see everything and be still be completely protected, uh, like so. And uh, I think that will look pretty amazing. But that's not all, because I want at some point I want to be able to have um, some some stairways going up, and there's going to be an upper walkway, so you can actually walk along the top as well. And I'm going to have walkways going out over the center, which may mean we will get rid of those trees. But yeah, so uh, it's a lot of wall placing to do. I'm going to do that now, and uh, once all the walls have been placed, we'll see what it looks like, and then we can decide about what we want to do next. So uh, yeah, hopefully you like it. Uh, if you do like it, make sure you do leave a like uh, on the video. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate uh, all the feedback that I get. But uh, yeah, I will see you in a few moments. Right, okay, so it looks like a very imposing kind of building. Um, it's very flat and stony, but we definitely need to decorate the outside of this. I think a liberal application of pillars and um, ivy or something will definitely make this look a bit better. But if we rise up, you can kind of see what we're going for here. I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, so what I've done is I've flattened out uh, the the tops here. So even though the the bottom here is going up and down with the stairs and things, I've made the the outside wall is all equal, and I've um, equaled it out with a row of stone 
going around most of it here. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing is adding in a walkway along the top, which is going to be completely flat, and we'll have a row of glass going either side. So these ones here are kind of we can incorporate into the the inside wall. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll start placing some uh, some ceilings. Well, actually, before I do that, I need to work out how people are going to get up. So we need some stairs. And uh, yeah, we need uh, an upper walkway. So um, I'll see if I can plan out the stairs, and then, then I'll, I'll I'll show you what I mean by the walkway. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I've had a bit of a change of plan. Uh, instead of having the stairs on the inside going up, <clears throat> oh excuse me, um, I've done the stairs on the outside. I'll probably put in some kind of pillars and supports to make it look like it is a bit more structurally sound and obviously we'll put railings along the outside but this basically goes around and because because of the kind of the shape of it I think it was best to have a kind of a flat platform here rather than try to to go up uh, uh, you know up ramps on the side there but um, yeah it goes in and then you can actually get in here and then we're going to have a walkway along the top and again I'm going to have either railings or probably uh, a row of glass walls along the inside there so that's what we're going to do so I want to mirror that on the other side as well um, so if we go around I want to make it look kind of the same so we had it on this level right so we'll stick to this level going all the way along um, we're going to have it to, oh no that's not going to work is it because that's a different size okay well in that case uh, the, the only reason what it was is because when you put a ramp in uh, I don't think you can get it to to go up very easily that's kind of in the wall that sort of thing and, and then he wants to sort of go down there so the way to do it would be to place a uh, ceiling above and have the ramp come down off of that and there we go then what you can do is then get rid of the ceiling and I'll uh, we'll get rid of that one. <clears throat> uh, place the ceiling one high up on the next one and do the ramp there. Alright, so then because we now have this corner here, we'll go around the corner by placing, uh, where is it, this one here, some triangle ceilings uh, going around the corner. We'll keep these uh, flat until we can get round. And you're going to want, uh, where is it going to go? We're going to want, <clears throat> so that goes there. We have a ceiling go to there, and then we want another another one like that. There we go. And one, yeah, so we can just keep on going like this. So then we can get rid of the ceiling, place it one high up there, place the ramp, get rid of the ceiling, do the same again. And that's basically what we do. Until we get a little bit further up, we want to get to uh, just at one below the top of the wall. So we can look like this, ceiling there ramp, uh, get rid of the ceiling, so it's a bit of a process but that's about where we want to get to and then we can then get rid of the ramp and then hopefully we can get rid of that wall, ah okay that's it. that's an entire wall so we need to uh, we need to fix that uh, but yeah but that's basically what we do and then we can turn these all into stairs uh, I think I've got something a little bit odd there that doesn't look like it's quite lined up rightly let's pick up that ceiling and we'll see if we can get that in the a different place there that's where we want it there we go that's much better oh uh, yeah there we go so we, that's what we're going to do and then what I'm going to be doing is building the walkway all the way along so it's basically a case of just building out and just filling in this bit here uh, yeah so I'm going to do that one and then when I come back that should all be done all right guys you have to excuse the rain but um, it's pretty much done uh, well the bit that I was planning on doing is pretty much done. So I put the railings on the stairs and things. I haven't put the support on yet. I'm wondering whether or not we need it. I don't know whether the pillars might make it look a little bit ugly, but we'll try it out. Uh, I guess we will want some pillars going down the outside here anyway. Uh, so I've put a row of glass walls all along, along the outside. We're going to need to change the model of these as well, um, but we can do all that in a moment. Um, I, I really like the inside. This is all natural decoration. I haven't done any decoration myself, but I just really like how it looks. It's just, it, it looks natural. Um, I'm very tempted just to leave it how it is without putting in any decorations of my own. Um, but one thing I do want to do, or at least attempt to do, <clears throat> is to build a walkway coming out maybe from this point all the way across, which may mean I will need to change those trees, but we can put these same sort of trees in but just kind of spread them out either side of the walkway maybe but one thing I guess I kind of regret it 
but I haven't made this perfectly even. So technically this isn't in the exact center. Um, we've got three, just, you can see we've got three walls on this side, but four walls on that side. Um, and that was more to do with the kind of the shape of the ground that I was building it on. So it's a little bit, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a shame that I didn't make it perfectly even all the way around. It would have maybe looked a little bit better, but um, yeah, so that this walkway is a little bit higher than that one. And, you know, it, it goes sort of one out further and, th and that sort of thing. So it's not perfect. Um, but that, I'm not sure whether that's going to impact the fact that I'm, if I want to try and do a walkway going all the way along. So um, we could just try it. We'll just build that walkway. Now I wonder whether to build a glass walkway all the way along um, or to do a stone walkway. Okay, I think probably uh, probably glass would be better, wouldn't it? Because you get a much better view. So let's just uh, give it a try and see what it looks like if we build out straight across. Do we line up with the other side of the wall? That's the key thing because I'm not sure that we do because this isn't even um, so it might not line up perfectly although I have to say it lines up pretty well actually getting back to uh, the building out so I managed to get that uh, to, to to match up uh, perfectly which is um, I, was, I wasn't expecting to be able to do that uh, but as you can see we're going to go through the trees a little bit but is this going to match up perfectly yeah so you see it doesn't match up perfectly I mean it's the lengthways Oh, that's okay it doesn't match up perfectly with with that though that's the only issue so that's a bit of a shame um, but we'll see you'll see how it looks let's just build the next one along because uh, that could impact well actually you know what we, we could just have a single doorway coming through this way rather than a double one so that would actually work that would work yeah so let's just go through here let's just do this we'll have to take out these trees in a moment and we'll see what we can do with those trees um, but we'll just keep on building this back let's get a bit quicker here here we go so that kind of works and then yeah so we're going to need to get rid of any tree that goes all the way through do you think hmm, okay yeah because we can place these trees back again we'll get rid of that one get rid of that one that one and this one so that opens up quite a bit. Yeah, so we definitely want to put more trees in here. That's going to be the case. But that looks all right, doesn't it? I think we're going to do that. And then I guess what we should do is maybe do a pillar right in the center. Maybe like a big metal pillar going right down from uh, maybe this one here. Well, maybe, maybe I should actually count and make sure I get the dead center. But uh, yeah, how do you think to that? I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll change the uh, the model obviously as you always do make it a sort of one big glass walkway that would look pretty awesome um, and we'll stick a few trees in there and that's not too bad and then I think the only thing left to do really is just to make sure that we, the outside doesn't look quite so plain and boring as it does at the moment by putting in a bit of, a bit of decoration oh that looks cool see I was hoping to get like a crossways um, walkway going across but the, these the uh, the walls here and on this side they definitely don't match up so there's no way we'll be able to get them uh, to, to line up properly um, so unless we, you know, we, we could do like a crossways go across there and then from that wall to that wall but uh, no I think the single walkway through the middle that looks pretty awesome and you're way above chomping distance from these guys these guys are a lot smaller a lot shorter than the, the walkway yeah that looks awesome Right, okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to, we need some railings on here. So I'll put the railings along there and I'll change the model of all the glass. That's probably the next best thing to do. Um, and yeah, that's going to look pretty awesome. All right, here it is. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Um, so I've, I've done the, uh, the model and the transparency. So there's a slight tint to all the glass. So it's a bit easier to make sure that you can actually see that it is glass. And I've made them a big open pane so you get a really good view. I basically just left a support every time there's either a change in angle or a change in height. And oh, actually, we need to put some stairs in there. We'll have to get onto that one before the end. 
Uh, yeah, so every time I'm changing the height or changing the corner, then I've put in a support. I haven't put a pillar in the middle here, but I think we may get away with it. I may put one in, I don't know. It kind of ruins the uh, the kind of view that you would get. I mean, this is an amazing view. And again, how scary would it be to kind of walk along here? It would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, what do we need to do now? Now we need to have some pillars to put around. Uh, hopefully this will work out. So again, I think I'll probably do it on each corner. Uh, we'll see how that looks. So let's try, I've got these large stone pillars. Let's try putting them in the, if I snap to the corners, uh, there we go. So that can go like this and then we want, I should get another one in. Again, snap to the corners. How does that go? It doesn't quite reach the top, but I need to get some small ones. But you should be able to see that that will just give it a little bit of extra shape. I think that would look perfect. So let's just see if we can get this a uh, few more rounds on each of the corners here. Let's see if we can get it in. Uh, is that going to... that's not... what is that snapping to? That's snapping to the ceiling, it's not the wall. Oh, this could be a problem. Could be difficult to kind of get in there. Uh, ceiling cor corner snaps enabled. I want... Oh, it's because it's triangles. Uh, this could be an issue. Oh no, that's not going to snap. What a, oh, hang on, that's where we want it, isn't it? Is that going to work? That kind of works. Now, can we get it to snap to the underside now? Uh, hopefully, can we get it to snap? Go on. You can see it right there. Oh, no, almost. Uh... It's because of this, that triangle ceiling. I wonder if I took away that triangle ceiling, whether that would, that might help. Can we get it to snap? Oh, come on! You'll ruin everything! Doesn't want to do it, does it? Uh, what about... no. Okay, well it looks like I might need to have to play around with that bit, but that's a real shame. Oh no. Okay. Well, what I could do is maybe... Uh, we want to put it about here, in, the, in that line. That, that'll that work quite nicely. We need to sort of get the different size pillars, but that's good enough there. But you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to perhaps go around and just try to put in a few of these pillars, make break up the, uh, the shape to this a little bit, and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, guys, there we go. I've got the pillars going all the way around. Uh, oh, I've missed, missed one there. Let's just uh, grab a small stone pillar, and we'll place that there. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so there we go, it goes all the way around, makes these little entrances here look a lot better. Um, and it just, um, it doesn't do a huge amount, but it does just break up that kind of flat wall just that little bit and uh, just gives it a little bit more shape. So um, I think the last thing we need to do now is a decoration. Uh, so I want to put in a couple of trees here and there, not too many, but just perhaps a few more of these type of trees. Just because we knocked a load down, we need to replace the ones that we knocked down just to kind of do that one. But I think other than that, inside of this, it looks pretty much perfect. There's a few rocks, there's some uh, this bamboo stuff, there's um, a tree and bushes and ferns and things. And that's pretty much what I would put in anyway if it was up to me. So I think we're going to leave it pretty much natural. All I'm going to do is add in a few extra trees. Uh, the, the, the key thing that I really want to do with the decoration, I guess, would be... Um, actually, that should be a stone wall. Oh dear, I'll sort that out in a moment. Um, is to maybe put in like a few benches around on the top here and then perhaps on the inside so people can sit down as they're walking around and uh, maybe to add some uh, lights or something, something, a, a splash of colour to this front wall, maybe some kind of sign, a banner or something to kind of uh, make this look a little bit better. So I think that's the last few touches I'm going to do. So I'm going to get that done and uh, hopefully when I come back this will be 100% completed. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, here it is, the grand entrance in all its glory. Um, I haven't done too much to it, I wanted to add those flags for a splash of colour. I've added a bit of a trail of ivy going up either side, up the stairs, following those. Um, but the main thing I've done is added some of these lights. Um, so we've got some lights on the outside, we've got these hanging lights going across the middle there. And if we go inside, I've added these benches around in various places. Uh, there are some purple flowers all over the place. And I've added these... Um, 
uh, lamps as well. So as you go around, you've got somewhere to sit, some flowers, and uh, you can get in front. I mean, oh, could you imagine? If this was a real zoo, I would spend a lot of time just sitting here and watching these guys walk around. What a view you have here. If this was a real enclosure, it would be amazing. Uh, this glass is, of course, extremely tough. It's very strong. And uh, our allosaurs are very well trained. They don't want to eat the guests. They're well fed. They won't eat the guests at all. Um, and as I say, we've, we've got very good lawyers here. Uh, so, yes, um, that's what we've got around here. Lamps, benches and flowers all around, all around like this. And... Um, if we uh, we will have to go all the way around again now, <laughs> we'll have to hop out, but uh, what an amazing view. And, and inside the enclosure, I've added a couple of extra trees, and that's all I've really done on the inside here. I haven't added anything else. It's all pretty natural, um, but I think it looks absolutely perfect. Um, I'm really happy with uh, with how it looks. All these rocks and uh, ferns and bushes and bamboo and stuff, that's all natural stuff. I haven't placed any of it. Um, uh, th that dead pine is one I've placed, and a couple of these uh, trees. I think maybe did I put three? I think it was umbrella trees I placed, um, and that's it. Uh, so I think it looks pretty amazing from that one. So we you go up the top. These flags look pretty cool. I don't know what, what do you think of the flags. I just wanted a splash of colour there. They're quite difficult to place because you they're so big you can't actually see where you're placing them. Uh, but I think I did okay on that. Uh, yeah, so basically we've got more benches and flowers all the way around. And I've got these kind of dome lights here. And that's sort of spread at various places. It's something I should probably think about adding into the rest of the zoo. Lighting up. Of course, I have godlike powers here and I can create uh, daylight whenever I want it. So uh, we never have to worry about building in the dark here. But um, just in, in case, you know, darkness does fall, we uh, got some lights around the place, which I think looks pretty cool. But there we go, that's it. That's the Alasaurs. I think I think what we should do, just to finish off with, is let's uh put these guys on wandering. Just for the just for the moment. I'll have to turn them off because as I've explained many, many times, uh if you leave the dinos to wander when you log in or if you come out of render distance or something, um it's just terrible. They they can glitch through the walls, get lost, or get stuck, and it's just a big disaster really. That's why I don't have things on wandering here at the zoo. But there we go. Um, there's no way out for these guys. They are sorted. And could you just imagine? Let's get on a bridge here. Could you imagine standing? I would spend so much time in this enclosure watching these guys walk around. Look at that. Just amazing. All right, but I think I think we're done. I think that's about as much as I can get done for this uh, this enclosure. And I'm pretty damn happy with how it looks. It just ah, oh, it just looks so good. And uh, yeah, so this has kind of given me inspiration for many more uh, enclosures to come. I've got plans uh, for the area just over that direction. We have something very big over there. Um, people have been asking me for Rex enclosures. Don't worry, every dino will get an enclosure and a Rex is coming. Not just yet, but it is coming. Um, but yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I really do like it. That's really good. Um, Okay, let's go zoom into the middle here and I'll say my goodbyes. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. It's, just, it's been amazing. And uh, I you know, I don't say it enough, but the, the amount of comments I get on, on this series and the, all the kind of positive feedback I get from you guys, it's just absolutely amazing and I really, really do appreciate it. And I should say it more often, but thank you so much for all the feedback that you provide and all the great comments I get. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. That's going to be all for today. I'm not looking at you properly. There we go. Um, so check the description of this video for links to my Discord server. You can come and hang out there. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you think my videos are worth it, you can join up with the Patreon. But don't worry if you can't afford it or anything like that. It's absolutely fine. It's just there if if you want to. <laughs> That's all I want to say. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you uh, next Saturday for another episode of Shredder Zoo. And don't forget to check out my other videos I do during the week as well. Um, even if they're not ARC videos, it might be worth checking out some. I would really, really appreciate it. So I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>